the king. To a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy. In his
to Babylon to be Christ for the generations. The Gospel of the Lord. It reminds us of the identity of the kind of God that we serve and how we should approach Him. The genealogy reminds us that our God is a God who does not relent on His promises. Though it may take a while, He certainly comes through on His promises. It took a total of 42 generations from the promise of the Messiah to be fulfilled. In our human estimation, and rightly so, it is quite a long time to wait on a promise. But I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, when it involves God, we have no option but to wait. Waiting on Him, demonstrate our faith and believe in Him, which is an act of service to God that brings about justification and righteousness in His sight. We are called today, dear friends, to always put our faith in God, no matter how long it takes. He will certainly vindicate us when the appointed time has come. May He continue to strengthen us and bless our resolve to serve Him with His peace and joy. This is us through Christ our Lord.
and be accepted to God, your mighty Father. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and run us through these venerable mysteries. We may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. It is right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ the Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all time. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gifts that already we rejoice. Of the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so we enter, and not enter, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Through all the ages, we were married to become heirs to eternal life. 
and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we have the glory to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, I will be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign. Lamb of God,
Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that our flame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Grand Council, I want to welcome in our midst the crew of the CTV as they are here to cover our mass this morning. They are a group of wonderful people who have dedicated themselves to the service of God through the media. They do this work basically on what? On charity. We pray that your efforts may never go in vain. And may God continue to bless you and sustain you in all you do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The brothers and sisters, as it is customary at the end of a retreat, especially the Advent and Christmas retreat, we invoke the blessings of the Blessed Trinity and in union with the intentions of the Holy Father, the Pope Francis, to rise up and pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I urge you to kneel and receive this blessing. And may the blessings of the Almighty God. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.
Savior. He looks on his servant, he our holiness. As for the ages, we call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy, oh, holy, is he. oh my soul. You are watching CTV 